Hello students, welcome to my channel, Genial Education. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. In this lecture, uh, we are going to solve problem 12.5. Chapter number 12, Positive Displacement Machines, Applied Thermodynamics by McGonkey. Statement of the problem is a single acting compressor is required to deliver air at 70 bar from an induction pressure of 1 bar at the rate of 2.4 cubic meter per minute measured at free air conditions of pressure 1.013 bar and temperature 15 degrees C. The compression is carried out in two stages with an ideal intermediate pressure and complete intercooling. The clearance volume is 3% of the swept volume in each cylinder and the compressor speed is 750 revolution per minute. The index of compression and re-expansion is 1.25 for both cylinders and temperature at the end of the induction stroke in each cylinder is 32 degrees centigrade. The mechanical efficiency of the compressor is 85%. Calculate the indicated power required, the saving in power over single stage compression between the same pressures, the swept volume of each cylinder and the required power output of the drive motor. So, First of all, we will write the given data. Delivery pressure is given, that is P2, 70 bar induction pressure is given. that is P1 and it is 1 bar. Free air delivery is two point four cubic meter per minute. at 1.013 bar and 15 degree centigrade this is two stage compressor as shown in the diagram in two stage compression we have low pressure stage and high pressure stage represented by LP and HP. LP stands for low pressure and HP stands for high pressure. So this is low pressure cylinder or low pressure stage and this is high pressure cylinder or high pressure stage. In between there is intercooler which is used for intercooling process. So if we represent the processes involved in these stages, we can show them on the PV diagram. This is the cycle A, B, C, D. This is the cycle for low pressure cylinder or low pressure stage. While a dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. This is the cycle for high pressure stage or high pressure cylinder. So now also we have given that clearance volume of the high pressure cylinder is 3% of the swept volume of the high pressure cylinder also 
clearance volume of the low pressure cylinder is 3% of swift volume of the low pressure cylinder n is given that is compressor speed 750 revolution per minute polytropic index n is given that is 1.25 temperature T1 or Ti is given that is 32 degree centigrade converting it into Kelvin Mechanical efficiency is given that is eighty five percent. We have to find four things. First, the indicated power. Second, we have to find the saving in power. Second, we have to find saving in power. Third, we have to find the swift volume of each cylinder swift volume of each cylinder fourth we have to find the required power output of the drive motor So, coming to the solution, first of all we will find the indicated power. For that, as per information given in the statement that there is intermediate pressure which is ideal and the intercooling process is complete so for that type of intercooling and processes we have the expression for indicated power that is equal to Z into N over n minus 1 into m dot r t1 into p2 by p1 whole power n minus 1 over z n minus 1 So, first we are going to find the indicated power. Z is the number of stages over here, N is the polytropic index, M dot is the mass flow rate, R is the specific gas constant or particular gas constant, T1 is the temperature, P2 is the delivery pressure. So, Z is 2, this is 2 stage compressor, so Z has the value of 2, N is 1.25 as given in the problem, 
the value of r is for a it is 287 joule per kilogram per kilogram P2 is given in the problem, P1 is given. We have to find the value of M dot, that is the mass flow rate. Only M dot is unknown in this case. So to find M dot, the mass flow rate, that is P into free air delivery over RT. So, P is 1.013 bar into 10 raised to power 5 multiplied by free air delivery is 2.4 cubic meter per minute over 287 into T1 that is 15 degrees C or 288 K1. So simplifying this, we get the value of mass flow rate that is 2.94 kilogram per minute. So putting this value and the values of Z, N, R, in expression 1 to find the indicated power expression 1 becomes indicated power is equal to 2 into 1.25 over 1.25 minus 1 m dot is 2.94 Converting it into kilogram per second, we have to divide it by 60 into 287 into temperature T1 is 32 degrees C, that is 305 Kelvin into P2 is 70 bar, P1 is 1 bar power 1.25 minus 1 over 2 into 1.25 minus 1. So simplifying these values, the indicated power required is 42892.15 this portion into 0 0.5294 this portion so multiplying these two we get the indicated power that is equal to 227.504 watt or the indicated power is 22.754 kilowatt. So this is the first required power it is the indicated power second we have to find the saving in power so for that first we have to find the single stage indicated power after that then we will be able to find the saving in power so for single stage, for single stage compressor, the indicated power is 
equal to n over n minus 1 m dot r t1 into p2 by p1 power n minus 1 over n minus 1. So, putting the values indicated power is equal to 1.25 or 1.25 minus 1 into 2.94 converting this into kilogram per second divided by 60 into 0 0.27 into 10 raised to power 3 or we can directly write it 287 into 305 which is T1 into 70 by 1 power 1.25 minus 1 by 1.25 minus 1. So, simplifying these values indicated power for the single stage is 21446.075 into 1.34 which is further equal to 28715. 0 0.06 watt are indicated power for the single stage in kilowatt is 28.715. So, this is the indicated power for the single stage. Now, we have already calculated the indicated power for two stage that has the value of 22.75 kilowatt while the, for the single stage the indicated power is 28.75. So simply we will take the difference of these two values from this we will find the saving in power. So, saving in power is the difference of these two values that is 28.715 minus 22 22.75. to 2.75. So, taking the difference of these two values, we get 5.965 kilowatt. So, this is the saving in power which was required in part 2. Third, we have to find the swift volume of the cylinders for low pressure cylinder and high pressure cylinder. So, first we are going to find the swift volume for low pressure cylinder. After that, we will find the swift volume for high pressure cylinder. So, from the diagram, PV diagram, we have VA minus VD, these are the volumes basically, this is equal to 
v dot l p over n where v dot is the volumetric flow rate for the low pressure cylinder and n is the speed of the compressor so let's suppose this is expression 2 further to find the volumetric flow rate for low pressure cylinder we have to use this expression that is simply derived from ideal gas equation m dot r t1 over t1 so putting the values m dot is 2.94 kilogram per minute r is 287 and t1 is 305 divided by p1 is 1 bar raised to power 5 so simplifying this we get the value of the volumetric flow rate for the low pressure cylinder that is 2.57 cubic meter per minute so now putting this value 2.57 in expression 2 so 2 expression will become VA minus VD is equal to 2.57 divided by n which is given in the problem that is 750 rpm so simplifying this we get 3.43 cubic meter per cycle or per revolution let's suppose this is value a V A minus V D is equal to 3.43. Also, we have V A is equal to swift volume of the low pressure cylinder plus clearance volume. Also, it is equal to swift volume of the low pressure cylinder plus 0 0.03 this is basically the clearance volume so it is equal to 1.03 VSL volume of the swift volume of the low pressure cylinder this is the value of VA. VA is equal to 1.03 VSL. Also, to find the value of VD, that is, VD is equal to VC N2. P i by P one, where P i is the intermediate pressure by one over uh, into uh, into power one over n is equal to V c is zero point zero three times swept volume of low pressure cylinder into pressure ratio. Pi by P1 is basically calculated from P2 by P1 square root. So from this Pi by P1 is equal to P2 is 70 while P1 is 1. So taking the square root of this we get 8.3. 6.6. So the pressure ratio is P i by P1 is 8.366 
also the pressure ratio P2 by Pi is equal to 8.366. In both cases, the pressure ratio is same. So putting over here the value of Pi by P1 that is 8.366 power 1 over 1.25. So simplifying this we get the value of Vd that is equal to 0 0.1 six four times swift volume of the low pressure cylinder so now put VA and VD in expression A so it becomes 1.03 VSL minus 0 0.164 VSL is equal to 3.43. So Simplifying this and rearranging this, we get 3.43 into 10 raised to power minus 3 or 0 0.865. We get 0 0.00. .00 three nine six cubic meter here we have missed 10 raised to power minus 3 10 raised to power minus 3 is present here when we divide 2.57 by 750 we get 3.43 into 10 raised to power minus 3 cubic meter per cycle so this is the value of swift volume for the low pressure cylinder that is 0 0.00396 cubic meter. Now, to find the value of swift volume for the high pressure cylinder, again looking to the PV diagram of the problem. We can write that swift volume of the high pressure cylinder is equal to Va dash minus Vc dash. As we mentioned earlier, that a simple small letters A, B, C are used for low pressure stage, while A dash, B dash, C dash. C D dash, these letters are used for the high pressure stage. Also, further we can write that it is equal to V A dash minus, this is the clearance value, so it is 0. 0 0.03 of the swift volume of the high pressure cylinder are rearranging this we can write it that Va dash is equal to 1.03 of the swift volume of the high pressure cylinder or it can be also written like this that swift volume of the high pressure cylinder will be equal to V A dash by 1.03 
so let's suppose this is expression 3 so in the problem we have given that the intercooling process is isothermal intercooling is isothermal so if the intercooling is isothermal then we have that pi v a dash will be equal to p1 into v a so v a dash will be equal to p1 v a by p i also v a dash is we can also write this expression like this v a or p i by p 1 now p i by p 1 is known over here that is 8.366 while v a can be found from the expression that is v a is equal to 1.03 of the sweat volume of the low pressure cylinder so putting the values 1.03 into 0 0.00396 which we have find over here so multiplying this we get the value of VA that is 4.08 into 10 raised to power minus 3 cubic meter per cycle. So VA putting this VA value in this expression to find VA dash so v a dash will be equal to 4.08 into 10 raised to power minus 3 by 8.366 this is actually the pressure ratio so simplifying this we get the value of v a dash that is 0 0.00 zero four eight seven seven cubic meter per cycle so we find this value we found this value v a dash now putting this v a dash value in expression three to find the swift volume of the high pressure cylinder so now it's very easy v swift volume of the high pressure cylinder will be 0 0.000487 actually expression from expression 3 it will become divided by 1.03 so simplifying this we get 4.73 into 10 to the power minus 4 cubic meter so this is the swift volume of the high pressure cylinder or we can write it like this that the swift volume of the high pressure cylinder is equal to 0 0.0004 seven three cubic meter so we found in part three the values of the swift volume for the low pressure cylinder and for the high pressure cylinder now in part four we have to find the power output from the dryer motor power 
output from drive motor. So for drive motor we have mechanical efficiency which is equal to the ratio of indicated power to the shaft power so shaft power is basically the power output in case of the drive motor so rearranging this expression shaft power is equal to indicated power by mechanical efficiency so from the statement of the problem mechanical efficiency is given that is 0 0.85 or 85 percent and we calculated the indicated power for the two stage compressor in part one that is 22.75 so putting the values of indicated power mechanical efficiency the power output or the shaft power will come out that is equal to indicated power is 22.75 divided by 0 0.85 so simplifying this we get 26.76 kilowatt this is in kilowatt so this answer will also be in kilowatt so this is the power output from the drive motor twenty six point seven six kilowatt So this is the solution of problem 12.5. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.